today's electromagnetic world, trust nature's call when it comes to ultimate health. Cell phones, cordless phones, cell towers, Wi-Fi, smart meters. Are you worried about your EMF exposure? There are solutions. Welcome to Electric Sense, where healthy living never felt so good. And now, your host. Hi, I'm your host, Kimberly Henry, and I'm here with Lloyd Burrell, author of Long-Term EMF Protection, Start Feeling Better Today, and webmaster at electricsense.com. And today, we'll be talking with Lloyd about EMFs around the home and how to protect yourself. Now, before Lloyd joins us, just a reminder that if you have questions or require assistance, you can reach Lloyd at electricsense.com. And you can join us on Facebook at facebook.com slash electricsensehealth. Lloyd, great talking with you today. Good to speak to you, Kimberly. We have talked about EMFs several times over um, the last few weeks, and today we're going to kind of readdress uh, some of the subjects we've talked about before, EMFs in the home. Um, yeah. But we didn't have time to cover it all the way last time, right? Correct. So we're going to get a little Correct. deeper. Yeah. So why is EMFs in the home something that we need to address and be concerned about, especially giving it two episodes of your podcast? Well, obviously, EMFs um, per se is, is, is something um, which needs to be addressed because there are so many studies which tell us that EMFs are dangerous. Um, and there are more and more studies. I can't, I can't stress that enough. We don't always hear the studies, but they are out there. <laughs> Um, for instance, um, this last week, the Israeli study that came out uh, that talked about the molecular changes, uh, including cell mutations that can cause cancer, uh, which was much more prevalent, prevalent uh, amongst heavy cell phone users. So the studies, you know, coming out all the time on this. Um, now, EMF exposures in the home uh, are particularly important because uh, it's a place where EMFs are increasingly prevalent, notably because of Wi-Fi and cordless phones, yeah, which we've talked about before. So that's pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but there are more and more electrical devices, all kinds of elect electrical devices now uh, in, in the modern home. And particularly the nature of these devices, lots of lots of these energy saving devices which are actually um, high EMF um, uh, devices. Um, so, you know, any electrical device is a source of EMFs. But what, what's, what the thing about the home is, it's somewhere where we all spend um, quite a lot of time, some of us more than others, because there's more and more people uh, working from home. And the other important thing uh, very important thing is the nature of the time we spend in the home. That's to say, most of our time, or most of us anyway, spend our sleep time in the home, and this is this is critical. It is, and I talked to you before about the fact that I had switched my own habit of keeping my cell phone and my tablet right next to my bed, and how much that has helped me to to stop that. <laughs> So it, it really does make an yeah. impact. I mean, it's not a scientific study, but that's been my experience. Why is that? Um... Because nighttime is a special time for your body. There's all kinds of cellular processes going on, rejuvenation, regeneration, detox. And it's also a time when your body produces melatonin. And studies show us, tell us that EMF exposures inhibit all these cellular processes and this production of melatonin. So EMFs uh, can disrupt uh, sleep cycles and they can contribute to lots of uh, health issues like allergies, uh, heart palpitations, um, weakened immune system, and worse, uh, because they make your cells vulnerable. Mm, so we're just more vulnerable at night because that's when our body's restoring itself. Yeah, that makes that's sense. That's when your body's doing its maintenance. Mm -hmm. That makes perfect sense. You also talked about melatonin, which is a hormone. Why is that important in in context of EMFs? Well, that's that's correct. Mel melatonin is a hormone, and it's it's a hormone which is uh, created by the penile gland, and it's it's created primarily at nighttime uh, when you sleep. And the studies there's been studies done on this. Uh, they show 
that melatonin has an important role to play in cancer protection, uh, prevention from heart disease, uh, preventing heart disease, uh, maintaining brain function and, and Im immunity. Uh, and the studies also tell us that EMF exposures lower our melatonin levels. Nighttime EMF exposures lower our melatonin levels. So the, given your body produces mel melatonin essentially at night, this is why it's so important to reduce your nighttime exposures of EMF. So what you're, you know, what you're saying to me about you've redu you, you removed your phone and you called us phone and so on, you're absolutely right. And uh, to go further, um, unplug your electrical devices in your bedroom because while ever these, remember, while ever these devices are plugged in, even if they're not switched on, you've got electric fields. And eliminate also things like CFLs, complex fluorescent lights, which is another high EMF source. Uh, and so obviously switch off your Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. I, I still have yet to make that step, but that's, that's next on the list. So <laughs> <laughs> reducing EMF exposures in the bedroom and reducing wireless exposures is kind of the first step. I'm on, I'm on part two of, of that first step <laughs> to dealing with EMFs in the home. But what are some other things that we can do? Well, yeah, because... Uh, it's not it's not all about it's not all about wireless it's not all about the wi-fi and it's not all about the cordless phones it's about lots and lots of other things so for instance microwave ovens i've mentioned this before and kind of people are more and more aware of the dangers of microwave ovens but uh yeah very high source of um of uh, radio frequency radiation uh when it's switched on and also magnetic fields uh, tremendously high compared to, you know, many other um, electrical appliances in the home. But even, even your, you know, regular electric oven, uh, electric cooker, um, mm -hmm. EMFs, you know, a potential source of, e and a source of EMFs, not a, a source of EMFs. Uh, mm -hmm. Don't stand in front of it, you know, when you're cooking, you know, don't kind of lean against it. Um, wow. Electrical <laughs> induction cookers, particularly, you know, a lot of people got these, so they're kind of the, the glass surface one, because you know, they're easier to clean. And yeah, they're uh -huh. great, okay. But they're also a source of, of high magnetic fields. Your dishwasher, just you, you know, your ordinary mm -hmm. dishwasher, a source of EMF. So kind of don't lean against it or don't sit against it, you know, when it when it's switched on. Uh, your TV, you know, we've all got TVs all over our homes now. Uh, same thing, uh, another source of, uh, of EMFs. But all something uh, which a uh, few people are aware of is, is your electrical waste it often comes as a surprise. Your electrical wiring, like in the walls of your home, is what you're talking about. I'm talking about, yeah. So you don't think about them because, as you say, they are in your, the walls of your home and you can't see them. And we tend to think, you know, well, uh, my wiring's safe uh, because, uh, you know, it's all been uh, installed and tested by a qualified electrician. But not always the case, unfortunately. Uh, in fact, very often not the case. Uh, because wiring errors uh, are made are quite common and you know uh, after all electricians are humans and <laughs> and the error to error is human right um, and the thing is strangely enough most electricians know very little about this subject I mean that can sound uh, ironic but it's mm -hmm. true most electricians don't know a lot about EMFs and sadly um, a lot of them they, they're, they're not very sympathetic to um, this topic because it's not something uh, they learn, uh, you know, when it's not part of the kind of the uh, the code which they have to learn. They re they understand they have to uh, respect uh, the, the the code, but they don't. Uh, the, the sort of the EMF aspect is one which um, is is overlooked, and so they don't understand the importance of certain aspects of what they're doing from an EMF um, point of view. And so they understand about just, yeah they understand about electrical uh, shocks, mm -hmm. but they don't necessarily understand about EMFs. I was just going to say they're they're probably at, at a higher risk than most of us um, because of the work that they do. Absolutely, but the the thing is really it, it's um, uh, we are also at risk because if you're living in a home which is not being wired properly, then your EMF exposures can be sky high and you can be totally unaware of it. Because as you know, as you said to me, you can't see these EMFs, you can't feel them, you can't touch them. Um, so just 
uh, very quickly two common wiring errors. Uh, there's uh, a very common one is is grounding errors. Uh, so you know every home should be grounded. You've probably heard about this. You know about this. Um, but um, uh, and grounding is 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 essential uh, to keep the electrical distribution system neutral. Um, and so if you're not properly grounded, basically it means your electricity supply is going to be grounding through you, uh, because electricity is always going uh, looking for the path of least resistance. It's trying to find its way, you know, back to the back to the substation. And 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 the second kind of typical error is 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 well, you know, there's like three wires in 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 a cable. So you've got your phase, your neutral, and your earth. And what can happen is uh, the 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 phase and the neutral um, are not put together. And this is a common source of uh, electromagnetic fields. So the the, the phase and neutral wires are not on together and so phase and neutral cancel each other out so we have a loss of balance and this is a this can be a major source of, uh, of magnetic fields so what i'm gathering from all of this is that the emfs and it's starting to sink in after we've talked about it for a few weeks now that emfs um like electrical shock you can you can usually see the source of something that's going to, going to cause you a shock like an outlet or a, or poor wiring yeah but emfs can be hidden behind walls and in appliances you you just you don't see you don't see and what you do see is after you know x many months years um, or longer, you see ill health and you don't understand why. And then, you know, I get lots of people, I got somebody sent me an email just the other day talking about this very thing, grounding errors. And that's really what brought me to talk, you know, to, to want to speak to you about it today because it's it's so important. And, um, you know, and, and, and uh, they, they'd experienced, um, forget what, it, I don't think it was cancer now, but it was, there's so many diseases, obviously, which can be linked to this, but it's, uh, and they had an electrician in, and there it was, the grounding was like only 10% effective. So, if, you know, it was like they didn't really have a ground. Mm. So their electricity supply was grounding through them. Wow. Well, this has been very informative. And if, if this conversation is striking a chord with you, I encourage you to listen back to Lloyd's podcast episode on measuring EMFs. You can also download Lloyd's EMF protection free report at electricsense.com. That's www.electricsense.com. And you can reach out to Lloyd on Twitter at Lloyd Burrell. And you can find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash electric sense health. And if you can think of someone who might benefit from what we've covered here today, they will definitely thank you for forwarding this information on to them. I've certainly learned a lot uh, from our conversations. So, Lloyd, thank you so much for sharing with thank us Thank you, today. Kimberly. Thanks for listening. To join our discussion, visit us on Facebook at facebook.com slash electric sense. 